Cheers, hey, my grooves, how the heck are you? I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, who else would I be? Anyways, uh, no, I'm not really in this beautiful seaside bar you see behind me, but I felt like I made a nice backdrop, you know, set a mood, if you will. Anyways, this was a beer uh, given to me from a beer friend, the Brew Guru. I looked him up on the various social media. The website is B R U Brew, G U R U Brew Guru dot com. Anyway, uh, Einstock. Icelandic Doppelbach. I hadn't had this one before. Uh, 6.7%. Uh, this limited release, I'm uh, sorry, this limited edition seasonal is only available through the holiday season, but this winter celebration German style Doppelbach is worth the wait. Malted barley and chocolate tones define the traditional style, while the robust aroma, long mellow finish will make this perfect make this a perfect companion for your holiday adventures get it while you can let me show you that can one more time here we go and cheers oh mercy yeah uh just like they described very malty on those a hints of uh, malted chocolate Thank whoppers. <laughs> Thank mothballs. Anyways, I digress. Mothballs, just like that. Anyway, um, oh yeah, that's gorgeous, man. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. They don't mention uh, bread, but yeah, this stuff typically will give you dark bread-like notes. I think pumpernickel. This one certainly is is no exception to that. Some are even describing fruits these days, and it didn't used to be the norm with doppels, but it seems to be I'm really not feeling that with this. But I did want to add that dark bread note that they didn't add there. This have a little bit of lingering sweetness. The finish is rather dry with a beautiful malty finish. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Who knew? <laughs> anyway, side digress. And <laughs> cheers. Oh mercy. It was a long week, and I'm finally able to relax with the beer. So I'm grateful for that. I've had some weather here in the Ozarks, so I'm you know channeling, <laughs> channeling good weather. <laughs> with this nice seaside bar on the off chance that at some point I hit the lottery and go to a place like this. Otherwise, I'll only be able to find it on my TV screen. But hey, that's okay too. Let's me set a mood. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. Gosh, that ain't bad at all. Uh, that goes down to Eastern Tijuana Hooker. Yes, delicious, man. Uh, it is. It's, it's rather tasty. I, I'm gonna add some. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna add some some herbal notes as well. You do feel some some herbal undertones, especially right at the end. Maybe just a slightest hint of anise. Might even feel like like a tarragon like no it might be even a little less powerful than that. So I'm gonna go with tarragon. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, anyway, I digress. I'm losing my marbles, man. Uh, you're losing it, Tom. Pull it together. Anyway, uh, <laughs> anyways. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, for Angelus, for Living Beer Drink, a purveyor of wisdom and. Ah, beautiful. Ah, beautiful, man. You're beautiful, babe. Don't ever change. One more time with feeling. I'm Tom the Beer Whisperer, for Angelus, for Living Beer Drink, a purveyor of wisdom and all around good guy. Cheers.